Hi, I'm Fred Kellerman. Uh, I'm with Avnet. I work uh, in the Advanced Applications Development Group. I've got a little AI palm and hand detection demo here. It uh, locates your palms anywhere on the screen and then it maps out your finger orientation. Essentially finger tracking and palm tracking as well. You could use this as remote game control, for doing virtual surgery, for basically remotely controlling anything that you'd want to with your hands. This demo is uh, running on Avnet's ZU board. The ZU board uh, has an AMD part on it, very unique. They have uh, CPUs in them and they have FPGA. With our uh, ZU board, we also have a, a unique feature, an expansion connector on it called uh, HSIO. This is the HSIO M.2 expansion card. Plugged into the M.2 card is the Halo 8 AI accelerator. Uses 8 bit inference and it has approximately 26 tops of processing power. And then it's sending information back to the AMD part and uh, putting together the image that you're seeing displayed. This is the new Avnet embedded VE2302 SOMA development kit. So the ZU board, the part, is soldered directly to the board. But this is a SOM with a carrier. The SOM can detach and plug it into your own designs. It has AMD's next generation Versal AI Edge part on it. It has CPUs in it, it has FPGA, programmable logic, and it also has AI engines. Processors specifically for accelerating AI edge applications. Not only can it do the AI, but you could use these AI engines to do um, fast Fourier transforms, other signal processing, other types of image processing, and then it gives you a lot of flexibility in wiring to your own peripherals. You can use the carrier if you want to do your quick prototyping. It has two high speed, up to 40 gigabit per second connections. It's got USB, it's got display port on it, it's got a one gigabit ethernet port, it's got a whole bunch of I.O. stuff that you can plug into. You can use that for your prototyping and then you would make your own board or system and plug that SOM module onto your own system. This chip also would work good for software-defined radio, radar processing with it, LiDAR processing, automotive applications. It's a very versatile SOM that can fit into a wide array of systems.